Hello, everyone, and welcome to a, another video presentation by the Great Company Podcast. My name is Derek, and we are going to attempt the Flight to the Ford. The next saga expansion, The Road Darkens, is set to be released uh, at the end of this week, actually, if I'm not mistaken. And in anticipation for that, we wanted to try the last quest of the Black Riders saga expansion that came out last year. This quest covers the, or this box, I should say, covers the first half of Fellowship of the Ring. The Road Darkens will cover the second half of Fellowship of the Ring. So we are going to make an attempt to get the Ring Bearer all the way to Rivendell. Um, but we promise to make plenty of mistakes. So if you're playing along at home, I'm going to recommend you do beer shots um, because anything harder will probably uh, make sure that you are not awake at the end of this episode. But with me tonight is Matthew. How are you today, sir? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited to play this game. I'm super excited about the Road Darkens. I think it's going to be it's yeah. going to be rad. How do you feel about the uh, the anticipation for the big box? Oh goodness! The the funny thing is, I've only played this box set once, and that was with uh, Dan and Ian when I met them last year at Gen Con. I think I might have tried at my friendly local game store with with a buddy once, and we got slaughtered by these Nazgul. So I actually haven't played these a whole lot, even though they're some of my favorites. So yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to sort of going through them again, hopefully this weekend, uh, with some folks at the, the game store, and then transitioning into the Road Darkens, which is uh, much anticipated. So um, I'm hoping it'll be a good time. Do you guys think you'll get a campaign going, potentially? Well, you know, my thought is not to do it until we have all the boxes, because if we have to oh, wait yeah. a year, or even six months, or plus just the heroes, right? I kind of want to know who everybody is, because you're stuck with them for 12 plus quests, especially now that we're getting some of the POD quests we can insert into campaign. That's true, mode. yeah. I'm not sure I want to commit to anybody um, until I know the entire potential pool, but that doesn't mean we couldn't have multiple campaigns going. Sure. Just start with some heroes now and just keep your log sheets and stuff. But, you know, uh, I haven't ever tried campaign mode, even just the first three, so uh, I might start now that they're out. But I'm just ready for, you know, the Gandalf hero and... Yeah. Um, you know, that Galadriel ally looks pretty cool. And just having new quests to play, I'm excited to see how they put new twists on quests we basically have, like the Balrog quest. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for all those allies, too, because we've got Elrond, Bilbo, and Galadriel, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. There's cards left that haven't been spoiled, um, so who knows what those are, but uh, I'm sure the whole box will just be great, just like this one was. Definitely. And if you haven't yet, check, um, I guess, the Fantasy Flight Facebook page. I know we've been posting them and some of the other community resources have as well. Quite a few cards have been spoiled, like the Boromir Ally and Limbus. So if you haven't checked those out yet, make sure you get on the Facebooks and uh, have a look at those cards. Some, some yeah, this is, yeah, this has been the best FFG has ever been about spoiling cards. And I'm not sure if this is their new policy or simply because this set is so late that they want yeah, to be more <laughs> that's my thought. Either, you know, either way, I, I like that they're doing it, and I think they should probably do it for more of the sets. Totally. Okay, so let's talk setup. We've... Uh, Flip this over so you can see 1A. We have shuffled the burden cards from Flight to the Ford Burden set into the burden deck, or I should say Tom, who has uh, created most of the automation for this game. Set up a burden deck for us right down here. We attach an evil wound to the ring bearer, and actually we set it up here for easy viewing. Um, the We don't have a really good visual for the life of the ring bearer. And so we decided to uh, put the wound up here. We put 15 damage tokens on it to kind of represent uh, the life of the ring bearer. And again, if that reaches zero, we lose the game. And uh, that's going to go down anytime he take damage, and it's going to go down at the end of each round. So it's going to be a tense game. We have the last bridge here in the staging area, which uh, the travel effect reads, the first player must reveal the top card of the burden deck and resolve that card as if it were just revealed from the encounter deck to travel here. So Frodo's going to potentially take a nasty hit on that. And we have two Fell Riders. This is another iteration of the Nazgul. Uh, I like the art on these because I think it's kind of meant to be um, the way Frodo sees them with the ring on. Uh, they're not Black Riders anymore, but they're kind of the kings of old. Um, so anyway, it's pretty cool. And they're potentially nasty too. Um, so we're going to have a tough choice right at the end of travel and entering into the encounter phase because we're either going to have to engage him or drop Frodo's life by one. Now the plan is to um, block these guys with Denethor. So I've got Arwen that's going to beef him up. Uh, there should be a Gondorian shield in Matthew's deck that will hopefully beef him up. Um, 
that to me is kind of the loose screw in our plan because if Denethor doesn't get pumped up pretty quickly, he's going to be eaten alive by the uh, Fell Riders. But we'll talk about that in just a second. The last thing for setup is what well, we shuffle the encounter deck. So we'll go ahead and proceed to 1B. Card. And uh, all we have to do is knock out the last bridge, make 15 quest points, and we are home free. So let's go ahead and talk decks. Matthew, what are, the, what are you running over here? Well, I was going to say, we'll have to remember to reduce his life by one at the end of each round. I can see us forgetting that. So yeah, you, well, hopefully if you want to get drunk, hopefully you'll, you'll want <laughs> to. But uh, my deck, uh, you know, it's the deck I've been running for quite a while, both in person and in our Octagon decks, Kelleborn, Legolas, and Brand. If I would have had time, I would have proxied the new elf um, that uh, there's uh, an archer. And I actually did this weekend. I have never in the, in the game's history printed out a proxy card, but I finally did. The thing is, you know, three cards in a, in a 50 card deck, I, she actually didn't come into play a whole lot, the new Galandran archer. But what she did was pretty cool. Um, I just liked it for being a cheap ranged person to help pump up Rumul. But that's sort of what this deck is built around a lot of archery. Um, a little bit of defending, not a ton, a smidge of willpower, uh, but uh, we're going to have to depend on you pretty heavily for most of the willpower. And uh, I wouldn't be too worried about Denethor getting some armor here in the first round. Nice. I like the sound of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I that her in the room mill deck, that's going to be really huge. And hopefully we can see some, uh, some sweet elven action and maybe yeah. even pick off one of these riders, but that'll be yeah. late game move. Uh, I'm running Idran and Glorfindel and Denethor. Um, I started playing with this deck after Idrain was released, and I liked it quite a lot, and I thought it might be helpful for this um, particular quest, since we do need to quest kind of heavily. I probably should have gone with Eowyn, but we'll, we'll see what happens uh, as the game goes on. I got a pretty good opening hand, even without mulliganing, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to, to crank out some questing pretty well early on. But uh, anything else before we begin? No, I think we should do it. Okay, word on the street is that control N actually works well now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and control N and see what happens. Okay. At least it, it shows me when you have done it now. I can see your cards get highlighted. Oh, away. nice. So the dilemma for me is I have some resource acceleration in my hand, and I normally play it on my tactics characters because I have really expensive tactics allies. But I've got a hand chock full of leadership stuff that is not going to get paid for um, unless Kelleborg can get some love. But uh, anyhow. Well. Yeah, hopefully he shall have it. Uh, I just got one move. I'm going to go ahead and play R1, and she's okay. going to be huge, huge. Nice. Well, that's go all ahead. you're going to do. Um, mm. That's all I'm going to do. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome. So Denethor is at five and six with R1. That's awesome. Pretty good. Very good. All right, uh, so I shall send... Adrian's not going to get her ability triggered this round, but I'm not too worried about that. We just want to go ahead and make progress. So I'll send uh, all these guys. And I think I'll send Frodo as well. Okay. I'll I probably send... forgot some nasty effect, but let's go ahead and bump up my threat. Yeah, I've not played the quest in, the, in a year, so it's like I'm playing for the first time. But I will send Kelebor for three. Okay, so we're questing for 12. There is two, four, six in the staging area. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens. assailed him. When revealed, reduce the ring bear's life by one, then nice. reduce... Oof, that's bad, and I have no cancellation, so... Well, we've got the ring, but I'm not sure that that's worth... or his ability. I'm not sure that that's worth canceling. Again, I don't remember what the bad treacheries are. Yeah, we have to reveal... This isn't that bad, because even right. if we're losing his willpower, we didn't draw, you know, an enemy or right. a location, so right. I think it, it might even itself out. Right, I mean, his life's going to go down two this round, but mm. uh, that's probably okay. Well, let's see. It is a race, indeed. There you go, after all. Okay. I won. My bad. All right. So okay. the second card will be... Oh, let me shuffle that. Whoops, did they... Shuffle that back up. Thanks, lag. All right, so the second card was another copy of Pain of the Eldom. Can we afford... I mean, we obviously would quest pretty well, having nothing else in the yeah. staging area, but can we afford to... We, well, let's, just, let's roll the dice and let him take sure. another hit. I remember That's this quest just... being really tense, but... Uh... Yeah, I only ever played it solo, so this is... The second card may make all the difference. And that's such a sad card, too. Poor old Frodo. I know. 
Or Mr. Frodo. There we go. Mr. Frodo. Okay, so R12, uh, excuse me, we yep. lost two because of Frodo. Oh, we lost his, his yeah, right. So we sent 10 against 6, but still not too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. Dude, anyone, it'd probably pitch, but uh, <laughs> we do not. <laughs> That'll do you be remember uh, raising your threat from uh, Glorfindel? Yep, sure did. All right, so we'll, of course, travel. Are you okay with traveling here? Let's go ahead and knock it out. Uh, it is a flight. Uh, okay, sure. All right, well, here's the burden deck. Let's see what we get here. Surge. Now, I'm going to assume I that Surge is off the encounter. Yeah, because it says to the, as if it was revealed off the encounter deck. Uh, the first player raises the right three and passes the token to me. Hmm. Okay. All right, so does that mean I'm assuming Frodo comes with you? Yes, he would. I'm not sure how we actually move the token in Octagon, but... Uh, I'll just drag it over, and hopefully it'll not screw us up too much. Yeah. Okay. And that surges to reveal the old road. Okay. Action flips the top card of the burden deck on top of the encounter deck to place four progress tokens on the old road. Which we can't Only. do anyway, because we're not playing campaign mode. Oh, well. Interesting, I don't remember that card. Okay, very good. All right, let me go and put discard. this into the special discard deck. Does it, would it go in the special discard deck? Or I believe so, deck? yeah. I mean, again, not played in a while, don't have the rules handy, so if we're doing it wrong, well, turn off oh, the video now. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> we don't want you to watch. So, uh, all right. So let's all right, so we're going to, well, I don't think we can afford to take, to let Frodo take a hit. Yeah. we got to take at least one guy. Okay. Um, well, we could probably defend two of them. I mean, well, you're at, thir you're at 30. Three. So we got to take them both anyway, but we don't have a way of readying Denethor. That's the problem. Yeah, but we got to take them both. Well, so. we do. We might. We might. The men of Gondor are strong, especially when they are, you know, around some walls. Hmm. That sounds very, very cryptic. <laughs> I like your table talk. Thanks. I couldn't think of a synonym for behind quickly enough. <laughs> like All that looking. time on the progression series. Is I know. Well, I, you know, I, I was the one who never really said much, but. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So I, I'm first player now, so interestingly enough. All right. But you've got Sentinel, so will you defend for me, kind sir? Absolutely. He's blocking for six. While you do that, I will throw some walls in front of you magically. I love it. So yeah. You can get an extra <laughs> defense. Elf magic. Right. Let's see what, seven. <laughs> right. Let's see what happens. Survey says, shuffle this card into the encounter deck. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's a nasty ring ring. I'm assuming that means, uh, okay, no, this card, not the attacker. Okay. Correct, yep. yep. Shuffle that junk. Okay, so Denethor bounces, mm -hmm. and he will exhaust a defend against this gentleman. Yeah. And oh, same, thing. same thing. Are wow. you sure you shuffled this? <laughs> I shuffled it like five times, so we could just keep blaming Octagon. Octagon's a good to win Tom. Go. Yeah, let's win Tom. <laughs> All right, so I guess it doesn't really matter if I attack yours or mine. Um, yeah, because you have to kill somebody for Bane to uh, trigger. Yeah, and I'm not going to. All we can do is three damage. So we'll just put the three damage on mine, I suppose. It's fine. Okay. And uh, that's the round. I love how Brand is always... Well, and I was going to say that Brand is always at the odd man out, but Denethor makes probably even less sense than Brand <laughs> being over here. Yeah. Hey, he's, you know, he's, he's trying to claim the ring for himself. He, so he decided to go go. for mayor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take care of this That's myself. That's right. Don't send a boy when a man can do the job. <laughs> <laughs> right. Improve his quality. Here yeah. we go. Control N. Work for me. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. The, the, uh, Windows update. Let me postpone that. All right. Yeah, please. All right. It left the two on my side, so we're probably gonna have to manually. Oh right. no! It's oh yeah, you're right. Right, because now you're for your first player, so right, you want right, to right. Frodo back. Mr. Frodo. Oh, you there know we didn't do There must be cards either. that affect. We got to reduce his life. Yep. There must be cards that affect the first player, and I'm just not remembering them. But, yeah. yeah, I think peril. Well, there's. Oh, um, yeah, peril certainly would. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's see. First player again. What a joy. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Well. I was going to give the steward a flaming stick, mm. but um, he's pretty well defended at this point, so I may 
I'm tempted to bring out some more. I mean, these shadows are nasty. I mean, if he had had it, those two Nazgul wouldn't have been shuffled in. That's a good point. All right, so let's do that then. You didn't even know what this was. My tabletop was so good. And let's do... Now he's a flamer, so with his stick. (laughs) (laughs) Let's do Escort from Edoras. All right, I don't like that because that means you have no cancellation, but all right. Sorry. Here go. All right, I'm because I just have a handful of leadership. I'm yeah. going to play Steward of Gondor on him and play. And Thor is not happy about that at all. Yeah, and um, lots of things I could do, uh, but I'm first going to play a Nath guy. I wish I had Olorian out. I do not. Um, but uh, we will. Let's see. Who do we want to not, not exhaust a class? Certainly, Kelborn's a decent option. I don't need his attack this round. Um, uh, I'd love to not have to take a threat from Glorfindel, but that's kind of. Glorfindel. Yeah, that's well, fine. Yeah, let's do that. Or so, maybe, I mean, maybe Frodo, what would be the benefit of having Frodo ready? Uh, nothing, really. Okay, all right. And for, uh, he could defend or attack, but we can do Glorfindel. That's totally okay. Okay, so we can, can start pinging. the damage on your side, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead questing. So we got five, six, seven, 11, 13. That's pretty good. Thanks to Kelleborn, I've got five on my side. Wish I had the horn out for this escort, but uh, I do not. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't have any readying tricks this time. Um, so should I have... Maybe I should hold the Nate back so she can defend for me. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I don't have any tricks. So that's this one. Sadly, I don't get to get any. Oh, uh, uh, that's fine. For, for yeah, unless you... Oh, yeah, I guess the, yeah, the only options would be... Um, Swift and silent or feigned voices, but if you don't have those in your hand, then yeah, she's, she's going to have to deck, for the team. Not in my hand. Yeah, so you know what? She's just going to be a chump and uh, keeps Glorfindel up. So but she's such a pretty chump. I know. So that's three for me. All right, here we go. First card is... Ooh. Hey. And the second card will be Etnamore's. Well, the Etmores is the active location. Do not deal Nazgul enemies a shadow card. Okay, that's pretty good. After M- any amount of progress is placed on Etmores, yeah, that's, that. no, that's, that's not so One good. One of the things I love about this particular box set is how almost every location has both a positive and a negative. Yeah. It really makes, you know, more than most quests, the, the travel phase um, something uh, somewhat strategic, I think. That's true, yeah. That's something we've discussed on the show about how travel is kind of the least interesting thing, so I guess yeah, more of that. But this is a great help. location because it's like, oh, yeah, no shadows. Oh, wait. <laughs> you know, with, uh, with, of course, the burning brand now, the no shadows doesn't matter quite so much. That's true. That's true. Okay, we've got eight in the staging area to our 16, so we're going to make eight progress. Nice. Which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to victory display that bad boy. We just continue to whine about this octagon thing. I think it would be cool if there was an option to like place many, so you could type in how many you wanted to place on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should we go to the old road, I suppose. Yeah, that seems the better choice because it's more yeah. threat, and we don't have to deal with uh, poor old Frodo getting yeah. stabbed again. Yeah. All right, so we're questing pretty well. Oh, wait, the uh, escorts can go away. Yeah. We're questing pretty well, so I think maybe we should leave the ring wraith up there. Are you okay with that? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. All right. So then we'll go ahead and move to combat. Mm-hmm. Shadow, shadow, down the going to block this guy. No matter, but it's... Oh, no, oh, that's horrible. I'm so glad. For oh, but brand. it gets canceled, right. Oh, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Burning Brand. Man, that's horrible. All right, so Nate Guide's going to eat it for me. Wish I had that horn. And nothing. All right, so she is dead. Uh, we did clear location, so I forgot to pop Edrian up. Oh, yep. Good. You know what? Let's okay. see. All right, so do we want to... Oh, never mind. I was going to say you could help me. We could take one out, but between your two um, guys... I mean, the thing is, yeah, we're going to take one out on either side no matter what. So, uh, let's see. Although, you're sadly, you're first player because I could ranged attack. You know, uh, you know. Can't, I don't think we can get the brand shenanigans to work. Um, yeah, but, you're right. So I'm going to send Legolas over to participate with your attack. That way we can make some progress. Okay, I like that. There's no... Well, you know what? Let me send Brand over as well, because then you can ready Denethor. Maybe we can peek at the counter deck. I dig it. All right, so that's nine, which is more than enough. Yeah. This guy goes away. We'll trigger... Yeah, let's do that. We'll trigger Brand on Denethor. Well, and did we have to do this force... Oh, no, in the staging area. I lied. 
So, okay. And I think that's, that's it. So before the end of the round, let's go ahead and do Den 4. Okay. Let's look. Top card. We're going to peek. Ooh, th this would involve some um, evil creatures being returned to the staging area, so maybe we should put that on the bottom of the deck. Again, I don't remember this quest at all, so I will leave it to you. Up to you. Yeah, just because I don't want to bounce this guy back to the staging area and have to deal with that effect again. Right. So we'll just go ahead and put that on the bottom of the deck and hope that nothing worse comes along. All right. Very good. So control, let me go ahead and move on. Yep. Hang in there, Mr. Frodo. Yeah. All right, and we'll go ahead and control in. I didn't ready my people. Let's try that again. Yeah, it gave... Oh, Maybe man. just F5? There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, it gave me an extra card and extra resources, so i got to take a resource off my guys. So Frodo, and the button go back to you. Come All on. right, let's do a campfire tales for one. I'm gonna do that. All right, finally some tactics cards, and then I'm gonna do another Nate guide. So um, uh, you can. Uh, Kel or Glorfindel no, doesn't have to exhaust. Well, I've got I'm, I've got a way to handle that, so you oh, can choose somebody oh, else. Oh, well, then I will just choose Kelborn then. Great. Okay, so I'm sad that you don't have the horn out yet, but this is the right play, so I'm going to go ahead and put light on Old Glorfindel and the one on Sylvan Refugee, and that will be it. Okay. Do you have Aaron Rider in there, do you remember? Uh, I do, it's in my hand. Just Okay, cool. Yeah. Very, very good. Uh, I guess we're ready to quest. Yep. I will send... Oh, I said Caliborn can stay up, so I'm sending three... I'll send her this time, so I'll send five. Okay. Oh, well, you know, I've got Frodo on my side, so if you want to exhaust him for me, I will actually send seven. All right. Let's go to Bill doesn't have to exhaust there. Thank you. And you know what? Your Sylvan refugee is a Sylvan, so don't forget her bonus. Hey. Kelleborn. Thanks, Kelleborn. Oh. All right, so you got, you got your chump covered there with the vassal. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, that's my plan. No, if we well, I guess it depends if we engage somebody. If we don't get anything else, then then of course we can keep the refugee around. Yeah. And if it isn't clear to the kids at home, Arwen is pretty much always affecting Denethor. Yeah. All right, so we're uh, seventeen. That's great. We might uh, potentially make it through. Yeah. First card is the Niner Bride, which is some killer art. Uh, mm -hmm. Treat the text box of each character in play as blank except for oh, traits man. until the end of the round. If there's a Nazgul enemy in the staging area, it gains surge. How cute. Nice. Do we want to cancel that? Do we want to Frodo that? We, I think we, well, I kind of feel like we should. What do you think? Traits. It, what is it? it Here's what we would lose. We would lose, we would lose Legolas's progress. Which I'm not super concerned with. We would lose Bran's readying. We would lose Idrain's readying. Mm. Um, that's really it. I don't, I'm not really caring. I might regret my words later, but I'm not sure that that's such a huge deal. Okay, the, the, the reason why I'm considering canceling it is because of the surge. Yeah. But we are yeah. questing pretty well. Yeah. We certainly can. We haven't used it yet. So certainly there's effects that happen when the ring is exhausted. But we can, we can risk it. We can, yeah. Because uh, the only effect at this point is this ring wraith up here. Yeah. And if I engage him, then the shadow card isn't an issue. Yeah. So let's do it. Do you want to Frodo it? Yeah, spend one and exhaust the ring. All right. <laughs> so risky. Yeah. All right, so that gets shuffled. Is it gets shuffled back in or discarded? Uh, let's read the card here. Shuffle that yeah. card back into the counter. Watch us get it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first card is Rolls Camp. Hey, hey, I like that. I like that one, yeah. And the second card will be... No quest points. Oh, Peril. So this is your card. No, it's your card first. Oh, no, second card, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 13 counter deck. Can you discard a pile for a Nazgul enemy added to the staging area or engage with the first player? Yeesh. Oh Do we want to... I guess we should go with the Fell Riders because they're a little... Are they less beefy? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're still the same. It still takes nine to take them down, but they hit less for less, so let's right. go ahead and do that. All right. 
I'll just uh, pull one out of the encounter deck, I guess. It takes nine to hit both and take both of them down, actually. There we go. This gentleman engage with me, so you can avoid that stupid effect. Or it has to be engaged with the first player, which would be me. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's all right, as long as you can defend one of them for me. Yeah, and we can still leave the other guy in the staging area, so... Yep. Yeah. And everybody's got a little, uh, where we'll maybe have a beef, uh, excuse me, a little boost with the Trolls Camp, so. All right, so we've got 17, to 3, 5, 6. That's okay. great, so we went by, n- wait, 11, that's... Yeah, we're getting 6, yeah. 11, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's huge. 1, 2, 3, four. All right. All right, so location is gone. 2A, or nothing on 2A, so what nastiness does 2B have for us? If you want him, come and claim him. Um, Add 4 to Ruin and end the Witch King to the staging area. It's got 30 quest points as long as there are Nazgul around. Uh, Same thing, reduces life by 1. So there's the Nazgul, there's the Witch King. There is the Ford. Alright, this is great. After 4 to Ruin and leaves play as an explored location, all engaged enemies are discarded. First player must reveal the top card of the encounter deck to travel here. So, what's the play? Because we want to obviously trigger the Ford. Right. Um, which we would hopefully do next turn, which means we'd have to take these guys down now. Exactly. So we would have. They're, they're pretty beefy. I mean, I'm not. Can we defend all, or at least take one of them down? We have to take the Witch King because the ringing is exhausted. I didn't even think of that. Oh, right. Okay. Sure. So I'll optional him. Okay. Like that, so that's three. So we got one with Denethor, one with the chump for you, and then one on... Well, it has to be one, no. of, your, one of your archers. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to defend. You're going to have to do... Denethor's going to have to do the Witch King, otherwise your other two heroes are dead. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's just what we'll have to do. That sucks. Do we... Uh, no, we can't handle that other ring wraith. That's too bad. Okay, so let's see. I, mean, I would love this extra defense, but are we are we saying we want to travel to the Ford? <sighs> to me, the clock's ticking because I mean we have eleven on Frodo. Um, and it would be really really sweet to trigger that Ford. Okay. Um, we'd still be stuck with the one Nazgul, which would still bump it up to, um, to quest phase two B to thirty. But we could handle that one guy. I mean, we've got the yeah. firepower. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, the extra defense would sure make defending with Brand a little bit safer or defending with Kelleborn a bit safer. But um, we would still be stuck with them for another round. So if we're going to do yeah. that, we might as well wait. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ford it is. We're racing. We are racing. All right. So I'll reveal the first card, and hopefully it won't be anything terrible. Hey, it's our old friend. Okay. That sucks. Well, that's not too bad. At least Adrian's already ready. But the problem is that it's, it's going to surge, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, jeez. Not good. Not good. So we either redu- we, I mean, I could engage him and then potentially block with. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's I'm going to do that. That'll be smarter because that way he could get washed yeah. away next turn. Uh, well, does he have to come to me? At the beginning of the encounter Okay, phase, so hold on. We, we, we did this backwards because we didn't travel first. So this guy would still be here. This guy would still be here. And mine two were with me because of other whatever. Right, so yeah, he would have to come to you. That isn't going to work because I have to option all the... Or you know what, I could... No, no, that'll work. That's fine. Because you, you will take the Witch King and then I'll come to him and, and Sentinel Denethor will just block the Witch King. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, here we go. Sadly, your Sylvan Refugee is going to go away. Nothing we can do. So, all right, Vassal will do one of the Fell Riders. Doesn't really matter which. Hopefully, the one with the worst Shadow card. Right. And uh, kind of bad. All right. And then I'm going to have Kelleborn because he has one more hit point. And less attack, defend the second fell rider. He's no whammies. Hey, Oof. nothing. So he takes uh, two damage. Good. All right. Um, you will do the witch king for me. 
Yep. Oh, let's see. Cannot does he have? He has one willpower. That is not going to work. Crap. Um. Crap. Crap for brains. So that means I have to do it, which means I'm going to lose a hero. So. Mm -hmm. Although we could do undefended with Frodo, and he just reduces his life by six. <laughs> You know, you know what, what I mean? That's, to me, I think that's it's all we can do. I think it's all yeah. we can do. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I think I read it as um as less than one, but that wouldn't make any sense. But yeah. well, all right. the tactics went to zero. So, all right, undefended. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, that's all we can do. Uh, discard. Oh, non-objective attachment uh, control. Well, that's pretty shitty because there goes my. Uh, no, I could do. Is it? It's got to be. It does have to be. Well, it, yeah, you control the yeah. defending player. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, so we reduce Frodo's life by six. That might just have cost us the game. But it saved us a hero, so yeah. the world's going to end, but uh, Legolas will live on. Yeah. So that means Senator can defend yours. Which at least uh, cancels that <laughs> shadow yeah, effect. Yeah, that's true. You can just get regular discarded. Okay, so um, uh, I guess I will just kill the one on my side. Okay. I'll make the two progress. Uh, no, because the uh, effect negated what was that the miner abroad. Yeah, it negated all the boxes. That's too bad. So we need to quest like mad next turn. Yeah, really. Six. Uh, I think we can pull that off. Okay. But though, yeah, my vast or my sylvan refugee went away. Yeah. Okay, so then these guys will put, just for no good reason, put three on this gentleman. Yeah. All right, here we go. All Try right. On. Moment of truth. All right, so that comes back to me. Will you pass the button to me, please? All right. Uh, la, 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 la. You know what? Because I've got nothing else I can do, let's do a campfire tales. And okay. hope you can draw some willpower. Nope. Um, we got Glue winning, so that gives us one. And okay. then another Sylvan Refugee, so that's somewhat helpful. Okay. Is that it for you? Yeah. Um, you want to okay, like great. We'll, we'll kill your Nazgul, because there's now three. Okay, that's a good kind of worst case scenario thing. Yeah. I um, wish I had more. It knocked somebody else out, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, I only have one resource left, so nothing else I can play. So should we send the team? Is that what we're going to try and do here? Let's see. We got three, five, six in the staging area. We're going to get two more. We need six. So we need, like, at least, what, 15, 18, something like that? So I got five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. We might need to send a team. I mean, I mean, I can send one. He's three. That's four. That's seven for me there. I certainly can send my other two. I, I think. I mean, we need to get it clear. What do you think? Nineteen. Nineteen could be all right. Yeah. Yeah. And I really wish I got Protector of Lorien hiding out in there somewhere. That would be really nice if that would uh, show up. Uh, and then this one's still 35, so he doesn't have to come down. Now, if we get any of the 30s, they come down. Yeah, it's going to be bad times. And so we don't necessarily want everybody exhausted. We still got we still got the ring. Well, that doesn't. Does that I mean, it, but it, well, it doesn't help us against. It's just the effects of a card. It doesn't affect the card itself. Well, it would shuffle that card back into the encounter deck, but I guess it would have to have an effect, right? Right, it has to be like a yeah, a one revealed or whatever, and they don't. All right. Just, uh, uh, that's all know. I'll send. So. Like Adama says, sometimes you got to roll the hard six. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. There's probably a better Picard quote I could pull out. <laughs> First card, Surge. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's Attached right. to a Nazgul enemy in play if able. Oh, well, if we can make it we... through with something in the world. so Yeah, let's let's... we give it to that guy because he'll wash yeah. away, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Second card. Oh, this is me the one. Surge. Yeah. Oh, geez. This would be me. Yeah. You must either shuffle the top card of the burden deck into the encounter deck and reveal an additional encounter card or raise it to play your strip by three and can't end the quest phase. So we're going to have to do that. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know if this is the end of the world. Okay. 
All right. So Top part of the burden need... deck. Yeah. Just so now we got to reveal one. another card. This is still card one. Yeah. Really? Oh, really? All right. Our shuffling has not been good today. I want to cancel it so bad. I wish you had a test of will. Roto. Oh, well, but we could. Gonna, we we still got to do another card, right? though, so, you know, it ends up being the same thing, I feel like. But then we wouldn't, well, the burdens are, yeah, all right, let's keep at it. All right. So I'm going to shuffle it twice this time. Yeah. So card number one. Double card one. Everybody says. Come on location. All right. Oh, no. No, that can't happen. we got to Frodo that junk. Right. That one we have to. All right. So they can shuffle then. <laughs> Still on card one. So that one so gets intense. shuffled back in. Yep. Yeah. This is what we love about this game, these tense moments. Yeah. This card one. number one. Oh, really? <laughs> really, Octagon. <laughs> All right. Well. We're going to have a shit ton of burdens in here. Golly. We're, we're bound to hit a burden. I mean, I think statistically we're bound to hit a burden at, on this card. Please, just anything but another one of these. Hey, thank you, a burden. I never thought I'd be happy about that. Uh, attached to the ring bearer. Oh, surge. At the beginning of each... Oh, wait, did we, we forgot to take a life off of the yeah, ring bearer. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Sorry, Glarung. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> attached to the ring bearer at the beginning of each quest phase. Other exhaust. Oh, okay. okay that's still awesome. surges, so we're still on card number one. Good grief. We're still on card number one, though. Yeah. yeah. All right, a location. Okay. Who okay. Never that? thought All I'd right. be so well, Let's get another pathless country, I think, is what we want. Second card is a Nazgul. Nope. That's another one we use. Each, Each engage enemy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That we cannot. Uh, well, yeah, I guess we can. So if you want to defend the Witch King. Oh, you can't defend the Witch King. For Pete's sake. And uh, he's going to kill a hero on my end. Yeah, where was that no, cancellation? Okay. So, um, let's. Uh, All right, so they get shadows. Yeah. So if I'll take this guy for you. Yeah. All right. Shadows. Brand's gonna have Plus, to eat it because we probably need to progress more. And it's nothing instead. Okay, uh, but do we clear it? Do we have enough? Count it up. So three, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Hey. So that's uh, sorry, eight to our nineteen. So that's eleven again. That's our lucky number tonight. Yeah. Two. Okay. All right. What Obviously, we're, we're gonna go with the trolls camp. Yeah. Okay. So these go away. So these guys get washed away. Yeah. So that's good. Go away. Now, did they go to the encounter? They get discarded, right? Not I'm like sure. shuffled on the yeah. encounter deck. Yeah. Yep, discarded. Great. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. I'd love to get this guy out of the staging area, but yeah. we're not I'm really prepared. Deal with this yeah. And I'm going to be severely hampered on resources, so you're not going to be seeing a ton coming out on my side probably the rest of the game. So let me think. If we hit the Trolls camp, Glorfindel would have plus one, so he'd be defending for two against five, which is still risky, but is it worth getting him out of the staging area? Yeah. Okay. So then we'll yeah, leave Pathless okay. Country. Well, what do you think? Well, we could kill him this turn. Oh, no, you got to defend it. Um, why don't we put some damage on him? You know, yeah, we put two damage on him, which is something. He's going to get two shadows, because the ring is exhausted. Yeah, I guess the safer play would be to wait until... Yeah, you know, I said we just leave him, travel to right. the control camp, and I'll have lots of willpower. That's a good idea, because yeah. they're still at 30. Well, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do the troll camp. Sounds good. I think, that, I think we've done all the damage we can do. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to run out of time here, but... Uh, Now I draw the horn. Give me, give me a break. Ah, that's funny. And I should have lost my Sylvan Refugee, right, at some point? Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, I don't really have the resources to pay for it. So I think it's better to get a body on the field. Agreed. Uh, I have a Ranger guy in my hand. Is he worth holding out for, or should I just get more questing on the table? I think we need questing. Oh, we have to make 30 points at this point. And, well, uh, hopefully we'll take that Nazgul out this round. Yeah, that'd be nice. 
All right, let's do that. So we'll go ahead and get another refugee. This is for, this is for your horn. That's never going to come. Man, if Brandon only survived, it would have had an extra resource. And then, you know, I guess I can go ahead and play... I'm sorry, I missed this. I forgot to add the leadership. I'll play an errand rider. Okay. Whoops, I just put a damage on Caliborn. Didn't want to do that. There we go. Um, he's just another body to jump. Should we need it? Or if I can actually... And did we... Um, did we... Did I... I think we might have missed maybe a little bit of an error. Um, I don't... As I think that we... My... Did I play a Sylvan Refugee last turn? Because if we did, I did not count her Caliborn bonus. Oh, no. I don't believe that. Yeah, I think I don't remember, to be honest. I'll just leave it. It's fine. Well, I will count it this turn. Yeah. Okay. Who, who are you going to send questing? So we just need to generate nine, which we'll have. I'll have six if you could just hang Legolas back. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to send three, four, five. Oh, we all get plus, wait, we all get plus one attack as well. So let's see. I got eight. Uh, just, just the heroes. Just the heroes. So Kelborn is uh, plus one. And then Frodo, if you want to tap Frodo for me, or exhaust. So let's and so now Frodo's also three. Um, so wait, so we're, we have to trigger his his burden. Do we want to exhaust the ring or reveal an additional oh, card? We need each quest phase, either exhaust the ring. Oh, let's just exhaust the ring. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, Frodo, we're going to get you there, buddy. All right, so ten from my side. So three, four, eight, eleven... So ideally, what's going to happen is we'll, we'll quest quite well, we'll make 15 points, we'll kill the Nazgul, and we'll, I will be well. Aren't you sending 13? Did you give your heroes the extra plus one? Oh, I did not. Thank you, okay. thank you. Cool. First card. Darn, I see a lot of yeah, yeah, there it is. First player, that's you, must either exhaust the one ring or reveal an additional counter card. So that's three. Or excuse yeah. me, two more cards, right? Good grief, yeah. Next card is... Oh my god, too much surge. Alright, so that just attaches to a Nazgul, so it doesn't really do much. Alright, so we still have two more on, on card one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that doesn't do anything. So that one surges. That just replaces still two it. more on card one. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's like it's negative one. Oh no. So she is dead. What does this mean? Let's see each other. Deal to each ally with zero. That's some bullshit. All right, so go away when he's dead. So that takes away one. And one more card for for the first card. I have only played that horn. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Still on. Reveal this one. This is a bit annoying. Still on. Reveal one. First player must exhaust the one ring. If one exhausts the ability, disc discard two cards at random from his hand. Man, you're okay. getting pummeled. This is bad. Yeah. I only have two cards in my hand. but uh, there Overcome we go. by terror. And hopefully the last reveal of the first card is... Hey, that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, there's that. And then now card, card number two. Card number two is... Uh, okay. Reduces life by one, and then his willpower by one, so I'm sending seven now. Oops. Oh, life down to three. Goodness two, gracious. actually. It was at three, and I accidentally mm. bumped it up. Okay. All right, let's count it up. So we've got uh, three. Does he get any bonuses to his threat? No. Three, six, eight, eleven to our eighteen. Okay. So that's excuse me, nineteen. So we went by eight. Alright. Okay, so if we can well okay, so where are we gonna travel? I don't know if we actually need to. I would like to just to keep something in there for Adrian if we can oh, I see. Yeah, but it's sucking up progress. You know what I mean? Like, their threat yeah. is lower than what their... Yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Okay, we'll leave them. And so hopefully next round we won't have to, to fight. So okay. this dude's definitely coming down. Do we want... I we don't have... think we can deal with it. I've got yeah. nothing. That's too bad. Well, yeah. so then, then maybe we should travel because we're not going to be able to make the progress anyway. Well, no, we and... will because if Denethor defends it, then we're sending nine at him with everybody else. That's enough to kill him. 
but I'm saying um, we make the, two progress. the quest phase will stay at 30. Yeah, and but we can still wipe this guy out. Yeah, but there's another Nazgul, so like, if we travel to Pathless Country, next round I'll be able to get that extra action of Idrain, which will help us to kill uh, the second Ring Wraith, which might give us the game. Um, he has to come down, because he has the negative whatever threat. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying this guy's coming down, but I'm saying yeah. do, but this guy's we have to deal with him next round. Yeah. And so if we do travel, that'll give me the extra action for Idrain, which could help us to kill this guy, which would bump to B back down to 15, which might be enough to win the game. All the shit we're going to reveal. I don't, I, don't, I don't see us winning it, but yeah, we can do that. It's fine. So we can travel somewhere. All right. Hopefully. The path left is okay. Yeah. Right. It's, yeah, I think that'll... I mean, we're going to be down to one life at the end of this turn, so... So next amount rounds make or break. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we see. have to... Uh, yeah, we'll see. All right. Okay, so you get two shadow cards? Yeah. And for defense... Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And for lefts... Um, plus one attack. It cannot take no combat. Okay. And then I'm just making sure his attachments are, are all set up here. One of them boosts his... Yeah, so he was swinging for six, which which is what Denethor is blocking for, and then... Denethor is blocking for... Oh, because R went right. And then um, he would go back to the staging area, but we're going to kill him, so... So we need nine, I've got six. And you've got nine. There we go. Which is plenty. That's good. Let me make two progress. <sighs> I just realized something. What's when Glaeo, when he went away, the refugee oh, gone, gone away, yeah. so he would have lost three progress. Well, her willpower was reduced by two already for that, because that uh, treachery, so it was just lost two. Okay. Okay, so two progress from Legolas. Yeah. All right, last round. Yeah, all right. Oh, Lorian, which doesn't do us any good at this point. Well, it might for you, I suppose, but it doesn't for me. No. Well, and then okay, so here's what we got. comes over to you. Yep. So this could be... Oops. And then at the beginning of the corner, the class phase, yeah. All right, so this could be it. This could, this, this could do it right here. Um, card from your hand. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Two, three, four, four Northern Tracker. Huh. Everybody helps. And then one, four, or maybe I should, no? Okay, let me get your input on this. Okay. Protector of Lorien on Glorfindel, so we can pump him up to okay. plus three. Sure. Okay, never mind. I was going to ask if I should put Northern Tracker back in my hand to be fodder for this card, yeah. but he can only be uh, pumped up to three, and I've got I've got okay. four cards in my hand, so okay. I think it's fine. Okay. I mean, the only other thing I would say is that you have more willpower, because we don't need the tracker's ability, because that's not going to do us any good. Right. All right. Uh, you, okay. Man. Brand, where are you? So should we, should I send everyone? I mean, you're first player, but... Let's count it up. So, we're going to... I mean, I guess the thing is, to win, we have to be able to kill a Nazgul. Um, there, there can't be any left, because there's no way we're going to get the 30 progress. The yeah, so is not revealing a Nazgul in the staging area, I think, in the encounter phase, is slim to none. So yeah. uh, I, I'm just going to send, uh, send five. Okay. And we still got to get up to 15. But. Do we want... All right, so we still have to deal with the weight of the ring. So do we want to exhaust the ring? or exhaust it, yeah. yeah hope, hope we, we, can't, we can't deal with cards, and so much of it's going to surge. Anyway. Okay, so we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus five, and then, well, I'm sure we'll end up on the board for null anyway, but we'll wait and see. Yeah. Okay. All right, crush your fingers, sir. Yeah. Uh, of course. It surges to reveal Let's this one. Which is uh, going to surge again. Do anything. Okay, so surges. One. Yeah, there he is. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And then the final Picking card. card. And then it surges. Nothing, so that surges. All right. And then it surges, so our text box are blank. Good grief. So do you surge? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Well, at this point, I don't even. There's no point in playing out the end of the round. Um, yeah, because perhaps prefer us to, but there's two Nazgul. We cannot kill them. Uh, can't even really defend them very well. So no way we're going to hit 30. Frodo dies at the end of the round. Um, so there we go. Yeah, it was that one round that really just just wiped us. Wiped out my hand. Wiped out, you know, half my ally or almost all my allies and a hero. We were doing okay. And you know, if we didn't have to defend with Frodo, of course, he'd have six more life. Yeah. So we maybe could have, you know, dr drug this out some. You know, having all leadership cards at the beginning, even the way I had Steward, losing that, of course, was painful, was, was not good. And I had already Mulligan. So I didn't have any of my tactics cards. Never drew any weapons. Um, my deck just never really got going. The shuffling just was on both on my deck side and on the counter deck side. You know, and I hate to blame the shuffler, um, you know, because it's certainly going to be player skill. But. Uh, just a, yeah, these I mean, are hard quests, you know, and there I think they're still hard, even with, with modern decks. And uh, this one's, yeah. it's good. It's definitely tense. It really gives you that feeling. Although I will say that all of this surge really does get annoying. I remember yeah. in the episodes being like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, most quests it doesn't annoy me too much. Yeah, it annoyed the crap out of me tonight. So. Yeah, that was. I don't think I've ever seen that much surge. That was like as bad as those radical shadow chains you would get yeah. in like uh, Kyrie Andros. Yeah, I mean it's. Well, all of the burdens have it, which I, I yeah, isn't really yeah. fair because they're nasty in and of themselves. Yeah. So it's not like they're not nasty. I mean, they have something happening. But yeah, too much surge, way too much surge in this quest. Yeah. So in in um yeah, we got a tough draw. I think the shuffling was weird, but like you said, you can't really blame that. But it was weird getting all those surges back to back to back. And I think in the future, well, had I drawn some cancellation, that would have been good. But I I didn't sure. feel like I could afford to use Glaeo Winnie to actually draw cards. Yeah. Um, and I guess that's a, another way of either readying or finding another way to defend would have been helpful as well. But um, but the Death Force sold it well, and it's it's such a crazy good combo with the Shield and Protector of Glorian. Do you, do you have any predictions for uh, the Road Darkens? Like, is it going to be... I'm thinking specifically of um, the Journey in the Dark, because we know there's going to be a return of the Balrog for right. Spain. So do we think it's going to be maybe similar to this, where it's like a tense chase? Because we've gotten some nice snippets from Caleb on the Fantasy Flight website, but I don't know. Do you have, do you have a take on uh, how that one might feel and compared to this one? That's the big yeah, finish. I don't know. That's the quest I think I'm anticipating slash dreading the most, because we've already had, you know, two Balrog quests. Yeah. Uh, this is the part of the book that's already been replicated in other quests. We've already had the Watchers Over the Water. We've already had the Doors of Durin. We've yeah. got the ball rock twice. So I think in many ways this was the tough... We've, you know, we've already had the journey along the Anduin or down the Anduin or whatever it is um, at the end of the book. So in many ways this is... Pro I'm guessing this was one of the hardest boxes to design for the Deluxe... Or for the sure. Target, rather. Because we, we already have all these quests in some iteration. So in a way, I, you know, I'm not so much speculating as to what it will be like, but just hoping it doesn't feel same -sies. I know a lot of people didn't like the Hobbit quest with the trolls because... We'd already had Copy of the Carrick, which was kind of the same thing. And yeah. Some people preferred that version more. I'm wondering if that's going to be the reaction this time through. Certainly campaign mode could potentially change that and, and make them a little more fresh. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, yeah, it'll be an interesting prospect because Caleb was... When we talked to the Gen Con... high, didn't he say he yeah, thought it was even better than it. this one? So. Uh, it's always risky when you set expectations so high because I thought this was a pretty good box set. Yeah, this is a great box. Oh, and, and so speaking of the fact that a lot of these quests or a lot of these events were kind of already duplicated in the Dwerdelf cycle with Moria, if you haven't yet, go back on uh, Tales from the Cards and read Ian's introductory post to his Dwerdelf campaign, and he makes some good points about um, how weird the Dwarf Elf cycle was in terms of story. Mechanically, it's great. There's so many. There are a lot of good quests, but yeah. in terms of the story and heroes going to Moria, it, about it, it's just kind of a, a weird deal. So that that's worth reading if anybody uh, listening at home hasn't checked that out yet. But well, I'm afraid we we done you wrong, Mr. Frodo. But yeah. we'll just have to try again. Luckily, and things worked yeah. out in the book. Yeah. Yeah, the, the story's ended. We don't even get to play Road Dark, and we killed Frodo. So. Yeah, the campaign's over. Sorry, guys. Yeah, campaign's over. <laughs> Lost a hero. Uh, you know, Frodo's dead. All those resources, too. Things. Maybe we should have put in fellowship cards, whatever they are. I don't even remember what it does. But uh, Yeah, I thought I realized that by how much of a game that we didn't put together. Yeah. Frodo's in. It's pretty, well, it's good if you're playing Hobbits, because right. it gives everybody, I think it gives everybody plus two 
or Frodo plus two willpower, and now every Hobbit you control, you draw cards. That would have been handy yeah. if we were going to. Uh, you know, it might have been okay. I mean, he has all these resources anyway, so perhaps yeah, it would have, yeah. you know, the extra willpower might have helped. I still think it would have pulled us out at the end, but maybe drawing the cards on your on your side or even my side might have been helpful. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. All right. Well, either way, it was fun. I had a good time. Yeah, for sure. Any closing uh, comments before we? Well, thanks for watching and yeah. inevitably pointing out all of our errors in the comments. We love them <laughs> ever so much. So, uh, but no, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it, and hopefully, we can do it. Uh, the road darkens here pretty quickly. Yeah. So hopefully, on the next episode of uh, the Great Company, we'll be able to talk about the road darkens and discuss some yeah. strategy, and then hopefully, we'll be able to do a, a stream like this uh, in the future. Although, given our performance tonight, I don't know if you want to take our strategic tips. <laughs> well, we'll we'll have some time to plan. This was a little bit off, so we'll come up with some good decks. All right. Well, thanks, man. It was fun. Yeah, you too. Good night, everybody.